Welcome to another video and in this one we're going to have a look at creating a new material. So we're going to start off with a relatively simple material which is a new pattern of brickwork. So as you can see I've drawn an existing um, wall construction with just an ordinary um, brick that comes with Revit on there. So to create a new brickwork we need to do a few things before we actually go into Revit. So first of all, open up your browser and do a search for the type of brickwork that you wish to actually use. So I've gone for an original Victorian style brick. I've scrolled through. Now what you're looking for is a view that looks directly at the brickwork so like this one here is very good these sorts of ones where you're at an angle no good at all don't want to be using those okay and ideally you want one without shadows on it as well so this one I'm just going to open that in a new tab have a good look at it and I can see yeah that looks like a really nice neat tidy one now this one even comes with the benefit that it's already cut along the joints on all the four sides. That actually saves a little job there as well. So now I'm gonna right click on that and copy the image. Now I'm gonna go into a program called Microsoft Publisher. Now Microsoft Publisher, if you have the Microsoft Office suite, you will have this program, though it may be one that you'll need to open up online and actually download it is not one of the programs that will work on Office 365 in a web browser. It does need to be downloaded to your PC, but it is part of the Microsoft Office suite. Now, right click, or oh, just do Control V to paste. So there we go. We've pasted our image in. Now, if we did need to actually crop the image to make sure it cuts along joints and not halfway through um, too many of the bricks, because we want to make sure that this side marries up with this side. Now we can see that this one does because that's half a brick there. If it was three quarters, that would be a bit of a problem. And we'd just have to do the picture format, crop, and then crop it to the appropriate position. All right, maybe there or somewhere else. But we don't need to do that on this one. So I'm just going to reset that. Now I'm going to paste another one in and put this one alongside it. Now with Revit, we do need a black and white one as well. So I'm going to re-click, I'm going to click on this one and go to picture format, recolor, more variations, click the black, and now it's black and white. Okay, so we've got color one, black and white one. Right click and save as a picture. OK, so I'm just going to call that our brick Victorian. And then right click on this one, save as picture. And this again will be brick Victorian, but BW on the end. So I know it's the black and white one. OK, now let's go back to Revit. So open up the Manage tab, Materials, click on that. OK, I'm just going to bring this over here and I'm going to look for brick. OK, common. So that's the one that's on that wall at the moment. So I'm going to start with that. Click on it, right click and duplicate material and assets. This is definitely something you want to be doing when you're creating new materials. If at all possible, use an existing material and duplicate it because starting from scratch completely is just not worth doing if you can possibly avoid it. So Brick Victorian, I've renamed it. OK, now I've got to, in the appearance, change these images. All right, so we want to change it to um, my computer pictures. All right, Brick Victorian, there we go. And then this one, I'll change that one to Victorian black and white. Okay, so that's good. That's the main 
thing that we've got to get done there. We've also got the graphics. We could change the color a little bit, um, make it something a bit more consistent with what we've got by there. It's a bit lighter. So maybe um, just pick something that's a bit more. There we go. I'll go for that one for now. And the pattern is still brickwork, so I'm happy with that. Let's apply. All right, now let's say OK. And what we're going to do now is just change the construction of this wall. And we'll change it from those common bricks to the Victorian brick. There it is. Say OK and OK. And there we go. So we now have a completely different brick pattern. But one thing we didn't check was the actual size of the patch pattern. So we can see the bricks at the moment. They look very small. So let's again go back into our material browser, Appearance. And if we double click on here, we can see there's the actual pattern size at the moment. Now, being bricks, we know each one is roughly 225 with the joint. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so eleven times two two five. Two four seven five. There we go. All right, so let's go for the sample size. Instead of ten sixteen, we'll put two four seven five. That's it then. Now, if we click the apply button, we can see that looks much better over there. So that's our first video on creating a new material where we've created this Victorian brickwork. Um, we will be doing some more complicated editing ones in future videos. So make sure you're subscribed and ready to receive notifications of when they are done. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video.